All right, test your mic. Hello, Mike. <laughs> I said, hello, Mike. <laughs> so this is about the time I need to turn the GPS on because I don't know where I'm at. But since you're here, will you be my GPS? Sure. Thanks. Taters. Hey, potato. It's 83 degrees. I bet them were hot potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's fishing. They put a dock all the way out to the end. Are they ever going to reopen? <laughs> all the way to the end? <laughs> Duh. It's okay, honey. I still love you. Even though you're acting like me. I am. What the heck? If this is any indication of how this test is going to be, it's going to be awesome. Oh, boy. Hey, we're here this time and there's nobody working on the gate. What gate? This gate right here. Oh crap, there's two vehicles. I'm gonna back in here, turn around. We're still gonna test this. I don't care what anybody says. In order to do this test, we've gotta swap seats. Oh, come on, Kevin. Hey! Hey what? We're back. Oh. Oh. I was perusing YouTube the other day a big word and I came across a video from J and E text drones he's discovered something that I don't think any of us really knew before he may have just blown the drone world wide open with DJI you guys all know that when you're flying the DJI Mini, let me get it I got it so you guys all know that when you're flying the DJI Mini 4 Pro when you're in sport mode the obstacle avoidance sensors are off there's no exceptions no if ands or buts they're just off so everybody always says be careful when you're in sport mode because the sensors are off and you could crash. Well, j and &E Text Drones just busted that myth wide open. He discovered that there is an instance where when you're in sport mode, your obstacle avoidance sensors are still on. Isn't that amazing? That's good. Yeah, it's good. We're gonna try to duplicate his results. Let me kind of tell you what he did. So he was doing an active track test following his truck down the highway or down a road. And he was wanting it to go really fast. So he put it over in sport mode. Well, when he activated active track, and put the, the box around his truck and started moving, obstacle avoidance came back on. And as soon as he turned the active track off, the obstacle avoidance went away. If that really works and it's not just a glitch on his test, it could really save a lot of drones, but it could also open up a lot of doors for the active track part of DJI. One thing that he did say on his video was that this option could have come in on a fly-up update or a firmware update for the DJI Mini 4 or for the RC2. Well, fortunately for us, we've been lax and we haven't updated Dwight. So we're still on the 1.12.8 fly-up update and we've got an older firmware that's installed in Dwight as well. So I'm gonna test it out to see if that option was available with this old fly-up update because this fly-up update and firmware update has been available for months. So it's been a long time. Anyway, I guess I've been talking enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Now I'm going to get Dwight all set up and get him out on the back of the truck so he can get his satellites. All we're going to do today, Christy's driving so I can fly the drone. She's going to drive around this uh, area that we're in right here. And we're just going to see if we can put it in sport mode and the obstacle avoidance sensors stay on while she's driving around. And hopefully it can avoid these trees because there's a lot of trees around here. Screen recording's up. All right, I'm going to get him out on the back. All right, Dwight, do us proud, bud. I'm going to turn you back around. There. Now you can look at us. <laughs> Okie dokie, we got 20 satellites here and we've got a strong signal. Obstacle avoidance is off right now because he's landed. I'm gonna go to three dots, show you what we got. We're using Dwight. Uh, the app version is one, the fly version is 1.12.8 and his firm, firmware version is 1.00.0300. And I believe that the most current one is 0500. So this shows you guys that we are using an older firmware. So hopefully this option is still available because if the obstacle avoidance does not come on whenever we're driving around in sport mode, Dwight's gonna crash. I think for the first flight, we're gonna just stay in normal mode and we're gonna drive around and we're gonna show how it works. And then we're gonna take the plunge and go to sport mode because I'd like to kind of get some stuff on film before we crash. <laughs> All right, let me get him up and going here. Is he up? There we go. He's going up now. There we go. I'm gonna go up 21 feet so I can get his, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we're not gonna be here <laughs> much longer. So she's already updated the home point, new Martha's voice. Look at this area that we're in. So we've got a lot of trees around here and that's the road that we're gonna take um, for, this, for this test. Where's my active track stuff at? <laughs> I don't remember how to do active track. <laughs> I really do not remember how to do active track. Subject scanning. 
Oh, okay. I got it now. You got to highlight the thing before you, and then the thing will pop up. <laughs> that was pretty stupid, Kevin. So I'm going to go to active shots and we're going to be in manual. I guess we just have to hit go. And he's going to just, well, he's raising up for some reason. I don't want him up that high. Min flight altitude reached, aircraft unable to continue. So you got to be at a certain height when you're following a vehicle. Hmm. All right, well, we're already doing it. So go, go on ahead, start the truck up, and we'll, we'll see what he does. Now, right now, he's in normal mode, and he's following the truck like he should. But he's at an altitude that could get him in some trouble with these trees. Now, if we look up at the top, we see that the uh, vision sensors are normal, so everything should be good. Now, one thing I'm concerned about is all these branches that are up here. Let me pull the gimbal up a little bit. I guess I can, right? Yeah, I can. Let me back off of them, maybe. I will just leave it the way it is. So you guys can see these trees here. Well, maybe you can't. Maybe we'll show the dash cam. <laughs> you can see the trees. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about this because he's he's not at a very good height here. All right, stop the truck. <laughs> I'm gonna back up a little bit here from where we are. All right, so go on ahead, and we'll see what happens here. But he's keeping a really far distance away from us right now. He's not very close to us. He might lose us because there is a pretty big tree canopy here. I don't know if he's even going to be able to keep track of us. But he is avoiding the obstacles at least. Well, that was a pretty close tree. <laughs> I think he's going to lose us here because we're going to be totally under a canopy. Yeah, he's lost us. He has totally lost us. Subject lost, fly with caution. What does that mean? <laughs> does that mean that uh, we're screwed? <laughs> I can't see us at all. I don't know where we are. Well, that didn't work out too well, but I think that we've shown that the obstacle avoidance is on in normal mode. So let's go over here and resituate. We'll, we'll come back facing the way that we were facing, and I'm going to get it in sport mode. All right, well, we have again resituated ourselves. Now, if you look up in the upper left-hand corner, you see that it says normal mode. Well, I'm going to switch it over to sport mode, and we're going to see on the upper right-hand corner where the obstacle avoidance sensors are. We're going to see if that changes. All right, so now you see that the... Um, obstacle avoidance sensors are off and it says that everything is unavailable that's because we're in sport mode let me hit the plus sign on the truck <laughs> and I want to hit active shots and I want to hit go obstacle avoidance has just come back on so right now we're officially in sport mode and the obstacle avoidance sensors have come back on but it says vision sensors are normal alright start the truck and we'll see we'll see what happens if I shrink that down I can see the numbers. So right now I'm 38 feet high. All right, I'll go to the right here and we'll see what he does. Now the obstacle avoidance sensors are still on. We're still in sport mode. Right, we're going to be lost in this canopy, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Let me stop this. And we're going to park. And I'm going to now walk through some trees with it in sport mode. Stop, stop the truck. <laughs> I'm going to walk through the trees in sport mode and show you that the, that the sensors are actually working. So let me get uh, Dwight back in normal mode because now the sensors are off. And I want to get him landed on the truck here. Dwight, you made us proud again. Just like always. Now try to land. <laughs> Please. We found a good parking spot, but we're under some trees. I don't know if Dwight will let me look up there at the trees, but there you go. I'm holding Dwight as the camera. <laughs> But we found a good parking spot. I'm going to launch Dwight, and I'm going to walk through some of these trees with him in sport mode. And I'm going to show you how the active track really works, because that was a pitiful test. <laughs> so now you guys can see that we're in normal mode, and the obstacle avoidance sensors are on. So I'm going to hit plus on myself, and I'm going to active, active shots myself. And I'm going to start walking here. I'm going to hit go, and I'm just going to walk. And I know he's going to miss all these trees while he follows me. Come on, buddy. How come you're not moving? Oh, you're on spotlight, duh. Let's go to active shots and we'll hit go. And he's gonna follow me now. All right, here he comes. There he goes. He might hit some of that moss. Hopefully he's, uh... oh wow, <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Let me walk this way here. He's circling his way around and he's, he's avoiding all that stuff, so Hopefully he doesn't hit that moss that's right there because that could be bad. But I'm just going to walk and he's going to continue to avoid these obstacles. And he's doing a really good job of it. Like he's flying around all those obstacles really, really well. Alright, so I'm going to stop 
and I'm going to flip it over to sport mode. Actually, let me stop the active track. I'm going to flop, swap it over to sport mode, and look at that. The obstacle avoidance sensors are off. So I'm going to hit active track again. I'm going to hit go, and the avoidance sensors came back on. So let's try this again. We're going to walk through these trees, and we're going to see what he does. Now, he, again, is in sport mode, so if this fails, it's shame on Kevin for even trying it. So far, he's doing okay. Let me walk through these trees and see what he does. Oh, yeah, he avoided those obstacles pretty well. It's just like normal obstacle avoidance mode. No problem. Let's walk over to these trees and see what he does. Jack, can you, or uh, Dwight, can you make it through these little trees here? <laughs> are you going to do it? His obstacle avoidance noises are definitely strong, that's for sure. Yep, and he's doing fine. I don't think that there's any problem at all with these sensors. I think that they're working like they should. And it's in sport mode. How about that? We've proven that this works. t and &E Techs, that was a cool video. That was a cool discovery that you made. Let's get back in the truck and we'll have a quick conclusion. Well, I would have to say that part B of this test worked way better than part A. <laughs> the walking through the trees worked a lot better than the drive. So what did we prove here? We proved that t and &E Techs drones was 100% right and obstacle avoidance sensors come back on when you're in sport mode if you're in active track. It's pretty cool. Another thing that we proved is that it's been available for quite a long time and nobody pointed it out. You know, I'm always complaining about how DJI keeps taking stuff away. They gave us something here. I would count this test as a huge success. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. God bless.